Mirabelle here is feeling a little embarrassed because her grades are really bad. We have never worked on them, I don't believe. Um, I don't think she really valued education just because she's an, she was an only child of a respected family and, you know, she just kind of figured things would be handed to her. <laughs> um, anyways, so from the last part, my game was giving me such a hard time. Oh my god. I had to take a break because I was so irritated. Yeah, Shadow? Um, so yeah, had to take a break and now I'm back. Seems to be a little bit better. I don't, I don't know. Shadow, what? Hi. What'd you come tell me? What do you want to tell me? Come here. Hi, handsome. Oh, you just want to give me love? Hi. We built them a new cat tunnel on the outside of our house, and I think they're pretty happy. Uh, so anyways, uh, if you saw from the last part, though, as I was having trouble with it, I just decided, you know what, screw it, stop the part, and I'll just get some video recording of the general idea of what I wanted to happen. Sorry, my machinima skills aren't fabulous. That was uh, a desperate first attempt just to <laughs> kind of finish the part because it's a little difficult to do that when, or it's difficult to start the next part if you haven't, you know, closed the previous. Anyways, so problem number one, we hired a caterer this morning. Guess what? There's no available food. I already checked and she's hungry. So we'll just have a quick meal yogurt and um, with yesterday or not yesterday but with the last part if you may have noticed it looked like he was proposing to her he wasn't it was a promise ring I mean they are teens he was more like you know we're gonna be engaged kind of thing and all right I'll tell you a secret <laughs> so as I was working on that to get it done um, they, they were, what was it? Let's pause. Hold on. What is he doing? So I got all the footage done. All of that was normal, but the problem was he, uh, completed, oh, did it come off? Oh, okay. Yeah. He completed these and, um, I had them boyfriend and girlfriend and he completed that. And then when they got home, she didn't have it so I was like oh shoot like you know like how did I think it was because I didn't even switch over so it was half my fault um yeah let's see oh and the date didn't even count but um, that's fine I guess once once you hear what happened so I had them break up <laughs> so that you know they didn't have the boyfriend thing and then I wanted him to get back with her so I just cheated their relationship because it was in the red. Their friendship was fine. It was just their romance. And um, so I fixed that. But she's hot-headed and she was not about to forgive him. Even though her relationship was cheat like cheated up. I mean, it was over halfway and she's, she just was not. And so with her hot temper, she just got angrier and angrier and angrier until she died and it was really bad and I was like oh crap exit the game <laughs> so that was a little awkward anyways so that's why they're not boyfriend and girlfriend right now um, that's why they don't have a promise ring aspiration but they are still lovebirds which I'm actually okay with because um, there it is lovebirds because he wasn't really going to be be the thing anyways. You know, he's going to be flirting around the town. Look at all these beautiful ladies we have. And yeah, although he seems sweet, I mean, I'm sure he, he does want to do his family good and, um, you know, treat her well. Is she cooking? Surprise, surprise. She's taking initiative. 
Wow. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. So she, uh, I totally forgot what I was singing because I got distracted. So we'll just have her eat. She looked dirty for a second, but I think that's just the surroundings. Oh, she's making a salad. Um, is she asleep? Oh, I love, I love Emmeline too. I feel like she has, um, a particular face structure. Like for me, I, well, I think everybody kind of goes through this, but they, um, oh, she's pretty girl crush, but I think everybody has like a preference and I don't think it has anything to do with like race or um, or anything like that. Like for me, I'm a brunette. I, I made a blonde. That's not my preference. I actually prefer brunettes, but I prefer different color eyes and other people like, um, they prefer making, like I notice in their let's plays, they'll make their main character redhead or they'll make their main character, um, brunette with a darker skin tone. And I think it's just a personal preference and you can start to notice that in, you know, when you're watching people, or it could just be what they want, but if you start to notice a pattern, it's usually because that's their preference. But, like for me, she's blonde. I like blondes, that's fine, but usually I make brunettes, and I kind of wanted to not do that. <laughs> um, so yeah, but what I, where I was going with this is my brunettes don't usually have such an angled face like, um, I usually make them more heart shaped or round and they usually always have blue eyes cause that's my favorite. Um, but it's nice to see like after a couple generations that the structure starts to change a little bit and you get different, uh, people. Cause I, I don't like seeing the same copy and face, <laughs> copy and paste on the same face. So yeah, that was a long rant. Um, what are we doing? Emmalyn isn't too great. I kind of want to find, she's a countess. Wow. She's a bit impressive. Aren't you? Who are you, dude? Ooh, is this, oh, James is handsome. So James was the first son of my <laughs> first recorded Let's Play. Um, it was only up on the channel, maybe seven or eight episodes. I don't even think he was born yet to be honest. Yeah, she wasn't even married. Like, I, yeah. Um, anyways, stop that Let's Play. Just kind of played a long time without it. It wasn't posted. And her first son was, was James. And he, he aged up maybe a couple days ago, but he is so handsome. Like, dang. Those jeans worked out, didn't they? So maybe she'll get with him. Oh, why are you in... You're using the bathroom. Okay, eat first. I know I'm never doing anything. I'm just talking. Yeah, she's gonna eat and oh, she's oh, he's mocking her. Ooh. Do a friendly intro and you can talk to him too. I don't think you know. Oh, he thought it was funny. She didn't. Um, I don't feel like she would be this nice. She would probably just ask about career. To me, that would kind of be like a mocking thing. Like, oh, Lord James, so what do you do for work? Oh, nothing because you're rich? I got it. Well, my parents are dead, so you have a good life. Because <laughs> he's already being mean to her. Um, give props for that. Oh, look it. He's a student at Buckingham High. Buckingham High. <laughs> oh, showing photos. How interesting. Oh, Emmalyn <laughs> looks like she's trying to get in the conversation and just can't. Why don't you get to know him? Because they would be so cute together. Oh, the other thing. Emmalyn is so buff. She's like the buffest ever. And anytime I usually get like a buff chick, I'll tone it down a little bit because that, I don't like it. Um, but I decided uh, I won't change her. I'll keep her the way she is, but she is like mad buff. All right, go to the bathroom before you pee in front of this cute guy. That would just be horrible. And shower, like, 
Come on. Maribel will keep him entertained until then. No, come back. Uh, ooh, discuss the best violinist. And... I don't know. He was kind of being mean, so I don't think she would want to really like him. How about you discuss color theory? She wants to paint a mural and... Oh, she wants to make out with Rylan. <laughs> Alright. Uh, that's interesting. Oh, you can show off outfit. And you go to the bathroom. And then we'll switch. Emmeline can come talk to him. It's not really a competition. I mean, Emmeline is under the impression that Maribel is going to marry her brother. So she, I mean, of course, her brother's friend that he brought home would be, oh, he's leaving. Oh, she's in bed anyways. Um, so, you know, she, she would go after her brother's friend because he's available, isn't he? He's still a teen. He's a lord, though, and she's a countess. Uh, so she should marry a noble. Is that correct? I mean, it should be, yeah. And a countess is pretty... No. I was going to say it's pretty high up, but duke and marquis are highest compared to royals. And count, earl and a knight are kind of like right above a merchant which is lords and ladies so and lord james got his title from uh pretty much from their mom and dad working really hard in their young life and they were able to provide for them later on and give them the status based on their income what time is it? Why is everybody in bed? It's only like, I mean, it's 8 p.m. Yeah, to go to bed, but oh, she didn't even shower. You know what, too, though? I think I might do this off camera, but we need another bathroom. Like, they need a share or something. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that after because them sharing a bathroom is just annoying. Um, So you go shower first. And then, I'm so, I'm kind of irritated that the caterer didn't, didn't make us any food. Like, why, what was the point of hiring you then, if you didn't do anything? I guess, um, just have cereal, kind of have to, and wake up before I forget. Oh, and you know what? Let's have her work on homework. She does care, I think. What is... Alright, I'm not going to check. For you, you're sleeping too, but you need some fun. Where you can play your violin for that. That's my favorite. Okay, go do that. And Mr. Rylan, you're hungry. So you wake up too, and you can have cereal also. Okay, I think that's enough to push play. Ramiro, mister, I gave him a job too. He is a writer. To be honest, I felt like he would be a professor, but we don't have a job like that. Oh, he's cooking. Are you cooking a family meal? Probably not. Garden salad. Okay. That's fine. That's the other thing too, is I think I want a butler. But I don't know how long I'll be with this family. Um, whoa, hey Rylan. Uh, yeah, I don't know how long I'll be with the family, so I don't know if it's worth it or not to, like, reno the house. This lighting is crazy. <laughs> I think it's because of my settings. Um, I put it on... I mean, lighting is set to very high, but it's on laptop mode. So I don't know if that... It's just being weird. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> It's all about the gameplay, right? Nobody really cares. They probably do, but I don't. Um, okay, Nathaniel. He has a romantic fire going on. 
Do we even have lot traits? Maybe we should get some. Let's see. Oh, maybe I should name their house. This is, it's not necessarily a manor, but um, what's their last name? Is it Cohen? Shoot, I don't remember. No. Oh yeah, it's Cohen. Okay. So, what would they be called? Oops. The Cohen. The, the Cohen. What's a fancy name for a house? I don't know. Mm. I'm just drawing a blank. So while that sits, let's look at traits. Hmm. He would have moved here. Ooh, maybe for the sunny aspect. I don't, what does that do? What does it do? I just want to read it. Okay. The beautiful scenery really makes this place uplifting. When the sun goes down, Sims may get energized, happy, or inspired. Yeah, that seems good. Maybe there's great soil here. I guess we'll just call it um, the Cohen family home. So original, right? But like what I do though is um, they do have their family homes, and so Rylan, he'll take over this house, and Emmeline will, um, and once Nathaniel dies, Romero is going to have to move out because, you know, you weren't even, you're not even the lady of the house, like, you're not even their mother, she's dead. He's just a stepfather, so, um, he'll have to move out, sorry dude, you might or might not get an inheritance, I don't know how I'm going to feel about it, but... Rylan will take over the house and Emmeline will have to move in with uh, her spouse and his family's house. So yeah, and that's kind of how they keep their money together. Um, they just, yeah, they just transfer. So we got some traits. Boom. Fantastic. And you need some fun. Why don't you, who's available? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Is Ramiro available to play? Oh, he's cooking. Never mind. What are you doing? Playing your violin. That's fine too. Okay, well, you're just going to play by yourself then, Mr. Nathaniel. Oh, come on. Thanks. And then I also added he's. Nathaniel's part of a club. Um, it was actually the founder was Maribel's father. But it's the Too Rich to Work Club. Um, obviously, these guys are all just mad rich, and they don't have jobs. Actually, Earl Dominic, he he's the founder of the Knights in Training. So he actually handles um, the training for the King's Knights, obviously. Knights in Training. <laughs> but so that's his job, if you would call it one. But we have King Jason here. He's a young adult, and the rest of us are pretty old. Adult, adult, elder, and adult. So the youngest one is the king. But I mean, look at we have Earl Nathaniel, Marquis Kaysen, Lord Gerard. He's in it because he's just been around for a while. And he's pretty rich too, I think. Earl and Lord Tyler. He also uh, made a lot of money. And, um, and yeah, we might actually get rid of him though because he was rude to us the other day. <sighs> Anywho, decisions, decisions. But yeah, I mean, they're all, they all should know the king. They're his, like the king runs because he has the, the nobles. You know, the peasants couldn't care less. They don't have anything to offer him. They don't have counsel to offer him. They just run the farms pretty much. 
So his noble men um, are the ones that come in and talk to him at court and stuff. Which we might need to make something like that. I don't know. Um, I, yeah. Yeah, I don't have one. I did at one point, but I took it out and put the cemetery there. Okay, so it's 10 p.m. It's probably a good time to send everyone to bed. Oh, oh, he's just going to chat with Romero. Well, we're just going to go to bed. So we'll send you guys to bed. I love this bed with the sheer curtains around it. It's pretty fabulous. Um, yeah, you can go to bed too. Oh, they could have woohooed. It's fine. You, your fun is okay. Like, <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to sell the painting because I know she has to do that for the aspiration and then I'll send her to bed. Yeah. Um, sell and sleep and stop playing. And what are you doing? Oh, you need a shower. But you're fine. You can go to bed too. Just shower in the morning. Oh, and Emma Lynn, she still has not showered. This girl is killing me. You're going to do it after homework, I think. She's just going to be so tired. Oh, it's Monday night. Like, she still has school tomorrow. Okay, yeah, stop your homework. Stop your homework. You know what else I haven't seen? I haven't seen the maid come around either. So, WTF, you know? Oh, is that why you can't? Go shower. Okay, well, let's try and fix that. I think that same, I mean, I don't think there's a double shower, but we'll double check. Yeah, so that, this I'm just going to ditch be... this and see if that makes a difference. If it doesn't, we're going upstairs. I mean, no wonder she hasn't been showering. Like, ugh, that's so annoying. Why? Why do you fit in the crevices of some places and you can't go take a stupid shower? Gee, thank you. So appreciative. Oh, man. She was like so smelly, this is taking forever. <laughs> Awesome, go to bed. So we can speed through this. Yeah, you're pretty much done. Thank you. Go on. You can get in your bed. You've been sleeping there. You're fine. Oh, we made it. Good grief. So I'll probably start up their morning. Um, I have like two minutes left and then I have to end the part there, but we're on our road to making everybody happy. And maybe, okay, here's a thought too. We could get the butler, but maybe we should just add them to our household so we can kind of control what they're doing. Because I was going to say maybe Nathaniel will just cook and clean. But no. Why would Nathaniel want to do that? He doesn't. He's the Earl of this house. <laughs> uh, maybe Ramiro might. I could see Ramiro doing it. Because he's, he's a writer. I don't, I mean, he does go to work, but, you know. He can, yeah. Let's do scrambled eggs. And when does he work? Oh, in two days. You're fine. You can cook for the family. And it's only 4.44 a.m. 
So we're gonna see who wakes up next. Oh, like look how gross this place is. Because the freaking maid won't show up. Or the caterer. Which is horrible. Oh, level two. Oh, Nathaniel's awake. Probably has to go potty. Oh, and while you're in here, you can shower too. Yeah, just take a regular shower. Oh, and you know what? I have these vanities here. Why don't I use them? I really like how the vanity works, how you can kind of pick um, makeup to wear. I think it's cool. Oh, she needs fun. Can you... Let's not play with toys. Um, let's apply makeup. We could do pinks, purples, and golds. Ooh. And I don't know what she's going to wear, though. Maybe... What is this? Mauve eyes and glossy coral lips. There we go. She should get up, actually. Actually, you all should get up because you're going to waste some time. Ooh, and you're hungry. Oh, and you need a shower. Okay. Ooh, Rylan's over here. No, we didn't want to talk to him. I want a shower. So take a shower. Because he should be done soon. And then we'll grab a serving. And Rylan will grab a serving. And Nathaniel is already on his way. And, oh, we're missing it. Ah, oh, we missed it. She doesn't look like she likes it at all. Well, it doesn't look bad. <laughs> that is a funny face she's making. Why are you doing that? <laughs> Go eat, woman. Well, that was, that was nice. Uh, she needs to go socialize, so come down here, eat, and go in there. What are you doing? Are you doing what you're supposed to? No. Why would you cook and not eat? You're so stupid. I hate stupid Sims. Go eat the food you just cooked, dummy. Goodness. See, everybody else is following orders. Okay. So they all need to work on their social before school in like 40 minutes. Um, why don't you talk to Ryland like, hey bro, um, I really like that guy James. Can you introduce us? That would be great. Maybe tell a gross joke. I don't know what kind of gross joke, but she's going to tell one. Do you need social needs? No, mostly just hunger. Uh, he could probably work on it. Maybe he'll ask his daughter or something. Ooh, maybe enthuse about interests. Wow. Thank you, Nathaniel. And we will Ooh, ask about another sim, I guess. We'll ask her what we th what she thinks of Maribel in front of her. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm gonna end the part right there. Um, my time is up, and then I think I can actually pick up right at this part. Um, I I don't know. Well, I want to see what she says, but. Yeah, I don't know if I'll play off camera and, uh, yeah, I don't know, but yeah, I'm going to end the part right here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.